Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the monthly reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing Leo? I hope you guys are doing amazing. I wish you guys the very best for this month to come. Um, let's get into your reading. Let's see what Spirit has for you guys for this month. So we're starting off here with the Six of Cups, the Hierophant, the Queen of Swords, the Two of Cups, the King of Wands, the Five of Swords, the Sun card, the Eight of Swords, the Eight of Cups, and the Wheel of the Year. Okay. Interesting. So what I'm definitely seeing for you guys for this month is definitely the opportunity to connect when we're talking about romance, when we're talking about relationships. Now, right at the center, we do have the Five of Swords. For some of you guys, you could have been dealing with a situation where uh, there was some feelings that were hurt, um, feeling extremely guarded, feeling like you have to pull back, uh, protect your energy. For those of you guys that are in a relationship, um, I feel that there's been stagnant energy for some of you guys here, especially those of you guys that are in a committed relationship, whether it's uh, in a committed monogamous relationship or a marriage. Um, there is, I feel like for some of you guys, it could be a situation where you guys are going to be challenged um, when we're talking about children, when we're talking about the family dynamic itself. Um, now, for those of you guys that are not in a committed relationship, but um, you're very close to your family, your relatives, there may be situations where you have to stand your ground, Leo. You got to speak up. Uh, the Queen of Swords here right at the center is, you know, the Queen is always a representation of being analytical, not being too overly emotional, not reacting based on emotion, um, but definitely being frank, being bold and speaking up when it's necessary. Um, almost like a feeling of for some of you guys, it could be a situation where you're dealing with family members or friends um, that perhaps, you know, have the different points of view um, or that, you know, are not necessarily um, the type of energy where it's, I feel like more of like a standoff for some of you guys. So it could be a situation where um, there is a misunderstanding and it, it's a, a bit of gossip, um, because I am seeing here, uh, the queen of swords here, uh, this, not sure if you guys can see it. Let me try to right at the center of her throat. There is like a little pearl and that's really standing out to me. So it's a representation of communication. And I feel that for a lot of you guys, there could be a situation where you're dealing with difficult relatives, family members, brothers, sisters, etc. Um, and there is a feeling of restraint. There's a feeling of like holding back um, because you're trying to come from a loving place, maybe not be so harsh or judgmental, but it is necessary to get your message across, Leo. So in the month of September, if there is some type of... Um, misunderstanding or miscommunication that happens with uh, someone in your family dynamic, um, which could be an air sign, it could be Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. For others of you, it could be a Taurus, it could be another fire energy like you, Sagittarius, um, Aries, or Leo like yourself. I also do see water here, so it could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But there is almost like a, a, a need to speak up and like I said, even if you're trying not to come from a nasty place or come off as you're being judgmental, there's certain there's certain boundaries that you need to either make because you haven't in the past or you have to, you know, kind of let them know in the way you communicate that there are certain things that, you know, you're just not going to allow them to cross and disrespect is one of them. Um, and it's almost like a feeling of here with the five of swords and the nine of swords. It's it's a feeling of being stuck in a situation or in a family dynamic. For some of you guys, it could be a family dynamic where it's toxic. Um, 
and again, you try to be there, you try to be supportive best you can. But for some of you guys, it could be like excusing their excusing their behavior because they're relatives, because they're family, because they're friends, um, that type of energy. And what they're telling you here is if you want to embrace peace and harmony in your life, it's very important to stand your ground, to create boundaries so that they don't cross those boundaries and bring instability or very disharmonious type of energy. Um, even if it means having the need to pull away or having the need even to cut off people. Uh, because at this point, it's kind of like, what is it that you are, what is it that you really want? Do you want peace? Or do you want to keep making excuses for their behaviors while they're bringing a lot of like, uh, you know, kind of, I don't want to necessarily use the word fighting, but it's like creating your staring drama. Um, so what they're telling you here is if need be in the month of September and you feel like they have definitely crossed that boundary um, and there is almost like a ego taking place, pull away from that Leo. Don't don't take that bait. Don't um, don't excuse their behavior. But at the same time, if necessary, cut them out. You know what I mean? Cut them out of your life, especially we're talking about friends, colleagues, people that you trust, people that you love. Um, and if it is a family dynamic, you know, the common denominator that I'm seeing here is it's almost like they kind of what I'm hearing is like that's how they are. Um, and that could be how the whole family sees this individual that you're going to be dealing with in the month in the month of September. But just because they are the way they are doesn't excuse their behavior. Do you see what I'm saying? So even if if it starts to disrupt your peace and your harmony, it's going to be very important um, to guard your energy, to speak up, to say what you have to say, even if it means you have to kind of pull back. Because I definitely do see that there is a bit of disharmony here. And with the Nine of Swords and the Five of Swords, confrontation. This could be petty-ass confrontation, honestly. Um, but it's almost like someone that likes to steer things up a bit. Um, so if you are experiencing that, again, maybe giving each other some space, some room um, to figure their drama out, all the while keeping peace in your life. Now, for those of you guys that are single, I definitely do see people um, gravitating towards you specifically. For you men out there, I see a air energy. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. For you uh, females, I see a Taurus. I also see... Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or another fire energy like yourself that is going to um, want to reconnect with you. And this could be a person from your past um, and it could be recent past. I don't see it as like a, like a year ago or something like that. It's recent past. So it could have been a situation where you were talking or getting to know someone. It didn't really go anywhere. Uh, you know, life kind of took you guys both on different, towards different paths. I do see a revisiting of that situation and being able to um, see where this could lead. So again, I definitely do see that opening up for you. However, I do see you guys walking away from, like I said, toxic energy, people that just drain the energy out of you. I definitely do see you guys standing your ground and creating some type of distance there. And they're definitely telling you now is the time to Make yourself a priority, Leo. It's going to be very important. And it's not on a superficial aspect. It has more to do with creating harmony in your life. So definitely embrace that. The Wheel of the Year is definitely talking about uh, striking luck or bettering your luck. Um, the moment you decide to choose your peace, to choose your happiness. Again, uh, with the Wheel of the Year and the Eight of Cups, walking away from anything that is toxic, walking towards your peace, towards your blessings. Um, for some of you guys walking towards a connection or relationship here with the Two of Cups. So definitely a lot of changes for you guys. But more than anything, I see that for the month of September, it's going to be very important to make yourself Leo and your peace or harmony or, you know, health, um, your mental health a priority for this month. So I definitely encourage you guys to learn to put yourselves first. Uh, this is going to be very important to be able to uh, you know, 
go through the month of September without having to deal with any nonsense. So I wish you guys the very best. I hope you guys enjoyed these readings and we'll see each other soon. Till then, bye.